Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, in this specific video, I have found this amazing website which will actually help you understand about transformer completely in depth. Okay. Uh, now why transformers are important because I know everybody is interested in learning generative AI. I hope you are specifically learning. And this is this topic is one of the prerequisite before you go ahead and start uh, generative AI. When I pro probably talk about prerequisites, I'm just not talking about transformers, but the entire NLP and deep learning, right? You need to definitely know how does RNN work? How does LSTM RNN work? How does GRU RNN works? How do encoder decoder works? How does attention uh, is all you need? You basically need to understand about the research paper and many more things. And finally, you basically go ahead with the transformer. And most of the LLM model has the basic architecture with respect to the transformer, right? And if you probably go ahead and check my generative AI course with Lang chain here i have covered each and everything the prerequisite with respect to uh, the deep learning nlp the machine learning nlp and then we have probably gone ahead and we have implemented multiple solutions not only that i have also started uploading videos with respect to lang graph and i'm still designing some amazing projects which can be added over here so all those things are specifically doing that, right? And if you have not checked it out, please go ahead and check it out. And if you really want to learn machine learning from basics, then I have my this Udemy course, which is complete machine learning and LP bootcamp, ML ops and deployment here from NLP, from machine learning to advanced NLP techniques, both in deep learning, I have actually covered it. Now, uh, this is just one of the materials that I had actually prepared for my course. And even in my YouTube channel, I've taken this particular V I've explained uh, about transformers, but this uh, materials that you'll be seeing is completely in depth. They are on 33 pages, which I've explained each and every working of this particular transformer. Now, additionally to this, you know, I've taken multiple examples also here, yeah. but additionally to this, I have also found out this amazing website, which provides more thorough explanation with respect to visualization. That is the reason I'm actually sharing it to you because I know everybody and many people have specifically asked me this particular question, Krish, do you have something related to visualization with respect to the transformer or how does the transformer actually work? Right? So that is the reason I'm actually coming up with this particular video. Uh, this is just to help you out so that you can actually prepare well and this all explanation will be super important when you attend the interviews when you are probably learning about llms or when you're developing generative AI application because that are the prerequisites now with respect to this transformers here you'll be able to see all the explanation is also given step by step which is really good but i'm really really much excited with respect to this visualization now if you know about transformers the first step basically whenever we have the words we perform talk, token embedding then we go ahead with positional encoding and after we do this positional encoding, why positional encoding is basically used because we need to order this particular words, right? Which word has actually come first, which word has actually come second. So that is the reason you can actually see positions over here, right? Then uh, after this, you go ahead and uh, train this multi-head self-attention wherein you create this uh, Q, K, V matrix, right? Q basically means query, K basically means key and value basically means uh, the values uh, value matrix itself right and here you specifically do this for 12 heads in the architecture in the research paper it is basically given 12 heads this is just one of the head right so if you probably just go ahead and hover over here you can see actually how the calculation is basically done right and this is the formula that is applied e e i d w d j plus b j is equal to and you basically go ahead and calculate the q k v parameters right or metrics and this will be very important because as soon as you go ahead and just search for data let's say if i go ahead and hover over here right so here when i'm hovering over here two lines are basically getting highlighted one is data and the next word that is visualization so for this data and the next word visualization the correlated metrics i what i can see is 0.84 right similarly with respect to all the other values will be able to see over here and this is how entirely it is trained and this is just one head attention like that you have 12 head attentions right so once this is done then you go to the next step and the next step, you basically go ahead and create this multi-layered uh, neural network. So here you have this, this is your residuals. Uh, you can probably see the entire calculation, how things are basically happening. Then you can see with respect to each and every token probabilities, how it is basically computed. And with respect to a word like data visualization empowers users to create. So here your create output is basically coming up, right? 
other than create you can also get visualized because the percentage of the softmax is very high right so like this you will be definitely able to see each and every visualization how things are actually happening over here how the dot product is basically happening how things are basically getting calculated inside this see after getting the dot product you do scaling masking and then you apply softmax plus dropout right so many things are specifically happening step by step you will be able to see this and this you will only be able to understand when at least you know some working of the transformers again the main reason of creating this particular video was to make you just provide some additional things so that you can learn this entire technique well right so one key thing that i will tell you while you are learning this please make sure that you learn along with this and you have to make sure you read all these things right if you are reading all these things trust me each and every step you'll be able to understand because here also everything is basically happening see here data visualization empowers users to this the first step is token embedding positional encoding you get some values then you perform tokenization positional encoding and you get the final embedding then you have the transformer block where you create the multi head attention where you have this key cube uh, uh, key query key and value matrices and then you add with a bias you finally get this right so each token embedding vector is transformed into query key and values these vectors are derived by multiplying input and embedding matrix with the learned matrix from q k and b right and it's just like a web search like how in youtube we search something and it will just go ahead and take that query search from all the keys and retrieve you the values right so all these things are there then you have this mass self attention how things are basically happening step by step you just go ahead and read step by step and let me know whether you are able to understand or not yes other than that uh, you know that i have lot of courses in udemy which are very affordable just in 399 rupees you can go ahead and check it out in the description uh, the best order of learning my course will be from mathematics then you have this um uh, machine learning and lp then you have this generative ai then you have this data analysis boot camp so you can go ahead and read with respect to this so yes this was it from my side i will see you in the next video thank you